guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how i got this blonde color um this wig is from AS sister this is their 13 by 6 613 18 inch wig it is 180 percent density it is 219 dollars and 99 cents hi so right here i'm showing you all the products that i use to get the color so screenshot them i use the t15 I also used this 20 volume developer by Clairol and I got all of this stuff from my local beauty store. So you can get all of this from your local beauty store. And yeah, so here with the color, I'm going to just mix the developer and stuff together and just shake it up and I let it sit for like five minutes just so it can process. So I'm just pouring it in and I'm just going to shake it up real good and then I'm going to apply it to the roots. So what I do want to tell you guys is I did spray the roots with some of my got to be spray, but it was a little bit wet. So it wasn't dried yet. So my lace, not my lace, but my knots got dyed. I really did not care about it. I just slapped some bleach on it real quick and it came out completely. But if you want to pre prevent that, you're going to spray your knots with some got to be or just holding spray. So spray it like three times, but make sure it's dry in between. And that will help you not have to go back in and bleach your knots. So I did go back in and bleach my knots just so you guys know. So right here, I'm just taking my time and I'm just putting it around the area. But actually, I'm, I didn't even take my time. I literally just put it in the root area and just slap it on. But I try not to make the color pass maybe like an inch, half an inch-ish. I just wanted the roots to have a tinted look to it. So that's all I'm doing right here. I'm just going to play some music so you guys can watch me do this. Because I don't really have to explain what I'm doing. It's really repetitive. But I just kept it in the video so you guys can follow along while you're doing your wig. okay guys so right here i had some extra color so i was like maybe i should put some of the color to kind of have some low lights so i literally just took some of the hair out of the whole wig so i was parting it and i took some hair out as you see me do right here and i just put some of that color on the hair just so it can give me like some low lights and kind of highlight effect so it was super super simple and it looks a little bit harsh right now but when we go in to tone the hair we're gonna just tone the whole thing and that's just gonna make everything melt together so don't be alarmed or feel alarmed if you find the hair is looking a little bit too dark in the areas that we picked out right here it's gonna be perfect at the end when you're complete 
with everything. Okay, you guys, so I rinsed out all the dye out of the hair, and I also used just like regular shampoo and conditioner for it. But I want to tell you guys, when I was rinsing it out, most of the dye was going onto the hair, so that kind of just made the hair a little bit darker. Um, so you can see it's not so yellow anymore. So right here, I'm going in with my toners, and I'm doing two parts developer with one part toner. So right here, you see I put two three and four and right here where i put four parts developer i'm gonna put two toners in that part and then i went to the other side and i put two and i'm gonna put one toner so these are my three toners all t15 and then i'm just going to store it up to get like a, a jelly type of consistency so take your time with this because this is super super watery so you don't want it falling over on your floor because it will turn your floor like a, a brownish color and you don't want that when you're done storing it should look like this and this color this is when you know that it's ready it's not going to turn purple because it's not uh it's not an ash color it's a beige color if it was an ash color, it would turn purple when it's ready, but it's not going to turn purple. So don't wait for it to turn purple because it won't. So right here, I'm just putting it on the hair and I'm just combing through. I'm super, super excited about this. When I'm having my giveaway um, for my 30K giveaway, I am going to be giving away some products to dye hair. That I think that's going to be one of the, the, um, the awards. Is it called an award? <laughs> it's one of the giveaways. The giveaway price yeah so yeah i'm really excited for that i'm gonna probably have three winners for that giveaway because i'm super super shook that so many people are supporting me and i can't just do one because it's so many people so right here i'm just putting it in the wig and when i um lay it down i'm going to comb it through and you can see i have it going on the roots as well so everything can kind of just melt together and this is all you want to do. I'm just going to play some music again because you guys can just watch what I'm doing and follow along. I pulled up on you at seven seasons. Fuck, I got secrets. Fuck, I got secrets. I got to go back home. Now who I want to be with. And how do I tell you there might be somebody that's taking your place? And if I need the same when we rise, it's the same when we happen to fade. Like I don't want to talk about money. okay guys when you're done combing it out and making sure that everything is saturated it should look something like this and then all i did was take it out and put it in a plastic bag and let it process for 30 minutes i believe or whatever the bottle the um the toner box says i think it says 30 minutes but you're gonna leave it for the time to process and then you're gonna rinse it out and deep condition it and then it should look something like this this is the color that it came to it's a nice beige type of color a beige blonde i really really love this color on melanin skin tones it's super beautiful i really don't like that ashy color anymore like i don't know it's just not cute so right here this is how it looks and you can see the different highlights and low lights of how the the toner made it look right here i'm showing you how silky smooth it is i'm showing you the inside construction and i'm just going to put this cap on did you guys see that quality switch i got a new camera which i'm super excited about and i'm just trying to learn it but it looks really really good i love it really 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 love it anyways i'm showing you right here how the lace is sitting i did cut this off camera so i will link a video on how i cut my lace i'm just going ahead and making sure that this lace is sitting around my hairline properly but i also showed you this in my dedicated how to pluck not how to pluck how to cut your lace off video and right here it's laying perfectly 
I could have did a little better um, melting this wig, but I was just melting it with some spray and I was a little bit lazy, so I didn't go all the way. So you're kind of going to see a little bit of cast or whatever on the wig, but if you do it with glue or just take your time and make sure that your hair color, not hair color, your foundation color is very saturated in the wig, it's going to be perfect. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and spray my skin with my Got To Be. I'm using the Got To Be today. I actually hate using Got To Be now to lay my wigs down. I like using spritz, but I was using the Got To Be. And I think this is what made my wig do some other type of stuff. But anyways, let me not blame the Got To Be. Right here, I'm just going to stick it down simple. I have a lot of videos showing you how I stick my wig down with spray. So... That's all I'm doing right here. I'm just going to stick down the top and then I'm going to touch up the side areas with the spray. So this is super, super simple. I'm going to link a video um, dedicated to me putting on the wigs like this. I don't really use, um, I need to stop saying um, I don't really use glue in the summertime because I take my wigs off every single night. So I feel like this is very convenient, especially if you're just putting it on for a day or two. This is convenient. Also, if you want a stronger hold, you will make some parts, like part your hair and spray the parts in little sections so it's going to be stuck to your braids as well. That's the tip for you guys. So right here, I'm just going in and rubbing the edge of the cap. This is going to ensure that your wig is nice and melted. Even if you're doing like the mousse method, make sure you're just rubbing the edge of the cap and this is going to make sure that your lace is super super melted so i love doing this every single time regardless of if it's black or blonde or purple or whatever color i like doing this this just ensures that my wig is going to be slayed that's all i'm doing right here super super simple so i'm just going to do that and i'm going to be right back okay you guys when you're done with that we're gonna just tie our head down this is my satin scarf from my company this is basically my merch if you want to purchase one they're seven dollars you can message the tropic touches page on instagram or email me the email will be in my description box and yeah it's mad cute i love it a lot i use it even for my natural hair or anything like it's really amazing Anyways, I'm just combing my hair out and I'm going to go in with my hot comb just to make sure that the hair is super, super flat. And you want to make sure you do this part because if you don't, you're just going to look like a helmet head. I look like that a bunch of times, so I can tell y'all firsthand, you do not want to look like a helmet head. Especially with blonde hair, you don't want to do it to yourself. So just take that extra time to sleek out your hair with the hot comb and this will make sure that your look is super, super crisp. So right here, I'm going in and taking out some of my baby hairs. For blonde hair, this is very, very important. Either you don't do baby hairs or you do them like this very lightly. And I feel like this is very natural and it doesn't make it scream like a wig. Like it just screams, oh, natural little hairs on your face. <laughs> so you want to make sure you're doing this part and do not OD with the baby hairs on blonde hair. You don't want to do that. So right here, I'm going in with my Afro G mousse, and I'm just going to use a little, little bit just to lay these baby hairs down. I'm making sure that I'm putting it in front of the lace because I do not want this lace to lift up. So I'm not putting it on the lace itself. I'm just putting it at the front of the lace so we can kind of swoop some of that baby hairs really, really nicely. I got a girl back home who thinks that I'm sleeping. I, I should have told you that there was somebody that's taking your place. I should have told you about it before, before it turned into something more. I never want to talk about money. It's either I'm your man, baby, or not. Is you going to let me leave this thing or not? I know you're good on your own, but baby, you must have got That you got a man, got to give him all you got. I'm not fooled by the money that you got. Just tell Johnny from the motherfucking block. I got it. Okay guys, so I went off camera and did my makeup and I'm super super pissed that I did not get to perfect my part but you guys know all I would do is just part it down real straight and then use my highlighting concealer to sleek that part and make it look super divine but I didn't even get a chance to do that so it's looking a little bit crazy right there but for the most part it's super super cute. 
you guys can see a little bit of cast and that's due to the got to be but this is the end of this look i hope you guys loved it and learned something from it if you did comment down below some snowflakes and i would know that you love this video also leave a comment down below just telling me how you feel about this hairstyle or if you're gonna try it i thank you guys so much for your support i'm super super thankful and grateful and humbled and i will definitely see you guys in my next video bye almost forgot do not forget to check out af sister all the links will be in my description box Looking at your friends Oh, 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 oh. Those beautiful eyes Make me cry